Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Webull option layout. In the top left hand corner, I have my calls. In the bottom left hand corner, I have my puts. In the center here, you can see these buttons. This is my active trader, and this is how I get in and out of my trades. In the bottom right hand corner, we have the chart, which I like to reference while I'm in the trade. And in the top right hand corner, last but not least, we have our positions tab. As we can see, I have multiple tabs in this one area, and I'll show you how to set that up now. All right, guys, first thing we do is head over to Webull. Into our customized layout, we hit a blank layout. Let's just start with a clean slate. Now, we need to go ahead and add some widgets. The first widget I'm going to add is the options widget. For myself, to keep things simple, instead of just using one option layout for both calls and puts, I went ahead and added one for calls and I add one for puts. So go ahead and click that options twice. That should add two option widgets to your layout and you can size them up and move them around wherever you see fit. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and keep my calls on the top and puts on the bottom. Now something that's really important is I want to go ahead and set these as a group. The calls I'm going to set as group one and the puts I'm going to set as group two. Now keep in mind this is very important and you'll see why here soon. Now we just have to go up to the top, see how it says both. This one I'm going to switch to calls. Now I want my calls at the top and puts at the bottom. So I'll switch the bottom to puts. Now whenever I'm scalping options, I'm usually in and out within minutes. So I'm trading the same day expiration or the same week. I don't usually look any further out than that. So I keep again to the same day or same week expiration. I tend to stick to out of the money options myself, but everybody's different. Now let's go ahead and add our active trader widget. This is going to be how we enter in and out of our trades. Now if you've seen my last video going over how to day trade with Webull, you'll notice that this is our active trader. This is our giant remote where we customize buttons to get in and out of our trades. We can set different buttons to buy, sell, even stop losses and take profits all within this active trader. Now make sure to link these two together. My puts are going to be link two and my calls are link one. This makes it so the option contracts now correlate and work with our active trader buttons on the right hand side. Now again, the bottom is link two, the top is link one. This is how I keep it simple for myself. If we click on one on the left, you should see it change on the right hand side. This means you've linked them properly. Now to make things look a little differently, I'll go into our active trader settings. I'm going to change this to compact. I'm going to switch this to one column instead of two, and then I'm just going to hide this here because I don't really need to see it. Now, this is all personal preference and you do with it however you please. We can see that it changes it up, adds different buttons to a single column rather than two. I'm going to do the same for our active trader below, which are our puts. Once we have this all complete, they should look the same. If they don't look the same, just come back into this active trader and mess around with these settings. Now, of course, again, this is all personal preference. So really up to you how you prefer it to look. This is how I prefer it to look for myself. Now, the next thing we have to do is change some of these buttons. Right now, they're set to stocks. So go ahead and check these off and let's scroll down to the options. Once we scroll down, we'll see place orders for options. This is what we want. I'm going to place a limit order to buy the ask. You can see the order type is a limit. We have it set to one contract, which you can adjust. We have the limit price set to ask, no limit offset, and we have the time and force GTC, which is good till cancel. Now with this same order, we can set a stop loss or a take profit and also set a hotkey. Now for myself, I'm not going to, but you can if you'd like. Now we need a button to sell. I'm going to sell the market as this is the fastest way to get out of my position during market hours. This is to sell one contract and I have shift nine as the hotkey. Once we hit OK, we'll see we have those two very simple buttons, one to buy one contract at the ask and one to sell one contract at the market. Now, most of this comes down to personal preference, but you can change the button size. You can change the layout, how many columns and whichever you prefer to really customize this to be more aesthetically pleasing. Now, make sure that we go into our second active trader below for our puts and change these buttons as well. These are set to stocks. We need to set these two options just like we did for the one above. Now make sure to scroll on down, turn on these buttons under place orders for options. We need a buy button and a sell button just like we did above. 
So it should have the same settings, but just verify that it's all the same. I have buy the ask, one contract, good till canceled, and I have sell the market, one contract with a hotkey shift nine. I'm gonna go on the left hand side, scroll on down and add cancel all stocks as a button to my layout. Go up to order confirmation, and this is personal preference, but I like to have mine turned off. I don't really like it to give me that order confirmation. I wanna get in and out fast, so that means I go ahead and turn this off. So I go ahead and hit done and we're good to go. Now it all comes down to personal preference, but if you wanna make your button smaller, you can do so just in the general settings. You can make them compact. You can adjust the column size, whichever you like. Again, it's all personal preference. Now, one thing that's really important is this box here. This is our quantity box. I can change the quantity of my order just by a couple clicks. You can either type it in or just click it. So if I have one on here, I can adjust and quickly add it to two, three, four, even five contracts or whichever I prefer. You can see it changing above for buy the ask and sell the market. This makes it easy for me to adjust my order on the fly. Next thing we have to do is go over to our widgets and add the positions tab. This is gonna add a positions widget to our layout and I'm gonna size it up into the top right hand corner. Now I'm also gonna add the chart, which will just go up to the top, switch the tab over to quote and you'll see chart right here. Click that and that should add that widget to your layout as well. You can resize it to wherever you prefer. Mine's gonna be in the bottom right hand corner. Now something that's very important is we have to make sure to link our positions tab to link one. This is gonna link this to our link one active trader. This means I can manage any one of these positions with this active trader here in the center top. Whenever I'm trading, I like to keep my chart really clean. So that means I'm gonna go ahead and remove this moving average as I don't use it myself. I'm also gonna turn off the open high low candle or close and I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to a five minute. I'm gonna go into our uh, chart settings here and I'm gonna switch it to turn off the grid lines as I don't really care for them myself. So just check that box and we're good to go. So now it looks like a pretty raw chart, but that's the way I like it. Again, this all comes down to personal preference. Now we have our calls in the top left, our puts in the bottom left, our active trader in the center, positions in the top right, and our chart in the bottom right. Now I wanna add a few more tabs to our positions layout. If we click this little options list or little cog in the top right hand corner, we can go ahead and add widgets. Click that and you'll see add widget. I'm gonna go ahead and add our orders. Click this here and this will add our orders to the same tab. You can see we now have multiple tabs in the same layout so we can switch from positions and orders. This makes it really convenient for me to know which positions I'm in, but also know if I have any active orders. So to demonstrate, let me go ahead and click one of these and hit buy the ask. It's gonna go ahead and set the order and we can see in the right hand side of the chart, it placed it on the chart. Now this is an active order, so it should show up in our active orders list. Let me click the orders tab. Click this here and as we can see, it's our active order. Wanna cancel that order? Well, that's simple. Just hit this X here and we're good to go. Hit okay and the order is now canceled. We can see in our working orders, there's nothing here. And if we go over to our positions, we have no position. Now let's buy a put. Click on the percentage of the put you wanna buy, hit buy the ask, and there we go. We can see the order has now been placed on the chart. We can choose to go over here and manage our position by clicking orders, which we can then right click and cancel out this order. We can also come up into our positions window and look into our open orders. Click on the orders tab at the top and we can see these are our working orders. Now we also see when I click this order, it now links it to the link one active trader. We can manage this trade through this active trader now. This is very important for myself to scale out. Now if I wanna cancel out, we just come down to the X and cancel out of our position. So multiple ways to get out of our position fast, which is key to me when scalping options. Usually when I'm scalping options, I'm trading the same day expiration or the same week expiration. If we click the down arrow here, you'll see those expirations on the right hand side. I tend to stick to the same day expiration as I'm just scalping to get in and out the same day. Have you ever had anyone tell you about options and talk about the Greeks like Delta, Vega, Theta, Gamma, and RHO? Well, they don't play a role in the type of trading I'm doing here. This is scalping options, so we don't really worry about those Greeks. I'm more worried about getting in and getting out with ease. That's more important to me. So I don't really focus on Gamma, Theta, Delta, any one of these Greeks, as they don't play a role for me. 
I'm just going to focus on the in the money or out of the money options, which I tend to trade out of the money options. So to keep things simple, I trade the same day expiration or same week expiration. I usually trade out of the money instead of in the money. The difference from in the money and out of the money is the price. What you'll see here is 272 and 328. 328 being in the money, 272 being out of the money. I tend to stick to the cheaper of the two numbers, which means I'm trading out of the money. For me, I'm just focused on getting in and out quick. So I click the one I want, I buy the ask, it sets my order, and that's that. Now, I either get filled or I don't, in which case I manage the risk from there. Now, we can always cancel the order by going up to the orders and right hand click on this order and cancel it out. That's probably one of the slowest ways to do it in my opinion, so I prefer to use the active trader. Generally, I'll click on it and hit sell the market, in which case we can't do right now because the market's closed. But if I have the order on there, you could always just hit the X on the chart and just cancel out that order altogether. Whenever our order is filled, it should be in our positions window. Now, we can manage that window because they're all linked as link one. We can click on any one of those positions and use the link one active trader to manage that trade. Being able to get in and out of my trades fast is really important to me, whether trading stocks or options. When I'm scalping options, I'm usually in a trade less than 10 minutes. I can get in, get green, and get out and protect my profits from there. As anyone knows who's been trading with me for a while, you know that I like to keep things simple. So for me, it's really simple. Calls up top, puts down below. My active trader up top is for my calls and my active trader below is for my puts. Click the buy the ask, sell the market, we're good to go. I've got my orders, my positions, and my chart where I can manage my trades throughout the day. Another cool trick is we can come down to our chart and we can link this to link one as well. Now, instead of the actual chart on SPY, this will now pull up the option chart, which is for the premium. So we can see once we place an order, it will still place it on the chart, although the price is a whole lot different. For myself, I tend to keep this as the stock. So I like to keep SPY up when I'm trading SPY or Tesla up when I'm trading Tesla. Uh, I don't really prefer the option chart myself, but if you like it, you can always link these together and there you go. Now, of course, you can always add other buttons. Come into the active trader settings, scroll on down to those options buttons, and you can add yourself a button to buy, take profit, and sell a stop loss all at the same time. Have fun with it. Really experiment and try different buttons that really suit you as a trader. Maybe you prefer to carry a stop loss on your order, in which case you can. Maybe you like to use hotkeys, which you can do that as well. Now, really look for what makes you comfortable when trading, because although this might work for me, it may not be the setup you prefer. Mess around with this, really get it to where you're comfortable before executing your orders. Being comfortable in trade is really important in my experience to make sure that we can create longevity and keep trading next week, the week after, and years to come. For me, I'm just gonna shrink up our active traders here because they don't really need to be so big. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a bigger chart, which is something I like to reference when I'm in the trade, and I'm gonna make my positions tab bigger as well. Again, this all comes down to personal preference, so size it up however you see fit. So guys, that's the meat and potatoes. This is how I scalp in and out of my options trading every single day. We have our chart, we have our positions, we have our orders, our calls, puts, and our active trader all in the same workspace here with Webull. Make sure to have real-time quotes if you decide to trade options. If you have a 15 minute delay, then you're at a disadvantage. For myself, that little lightning bolt in the top right hand corner, this means I have real time quotes. If you don't have that, make sure to apply now on Webull. So traders, I hope this helped you on your trading journey, trading options, and how to learn how to trade options fast. Get in, get green, get out. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.